Hi there. Right, okay. So we've now come to the end of uh, three days of deliberation and really it's all been about trying to work out what levels and how loud these uh, these pieces should be, especially for video and especially for live streaming. Uh, up until up until the lockdown, what I'd been doing is I'd been preparing the videos offline and then I'd been able to go through the software and um, and even things up and try and have some control over it. And one of the things that I've really struggled with over the last six weeks, <laughs> eight weeks, but I'd only really become aware of it over the last week, um, was actually a lot of what I was doing was very quiet. And I didn't have the, I had no control, or it felt like I had no control over the impact of the music that I was creating. And actually that's, that felt, it was it was sort of a, a bit hit or miss and there must have must be a better way and so the last last few days i've been experimenting and trying to work out uh how i can get round what you know, uh the the predicament of uh yeah putting something out and not really knowing how it's going to sound <laughs> for everyone else and and it's interesting because part of that as well is that what i'm hearing in these is very different to what i'm hearing before i press go live as well but i think i might well have got there i'm still hearing very different things from here but actually i think we may have an answer uh, to the predicament it might it might actually have caused a huge problem going forward but uh, let's just see let's just see if i'm right now what we've done there is you've just heard yesterday's piece as the introduction and and basically what i've done with that that was and and i think i made a mistake because i've been checking and i think that was done at a level that was quite quite loud um so it was it was at k14 which is which is what spotify youtube and and all of the live uh, platforms are now setting their their standard for and all of the up until then what i'd been aiming for was minus 23 so what i've done today and and that is really broadcast level and but it sounds a lot quieter and i've been trying to work out how i can have something that sounds the same volume as everything else so it doesn't suddenly sound quiet whilst also mastering it at a level that's uh, that's that's good for orchestral um, and I think I may well have got, got there so we're going to try that going to try that today uh, what I've done is I've used a piece of software that I'd been toying with the idea and I think I mentioned it yesterday it's by Rogue Amoeba and it's called Sound Source, and it gives me control over the sound and the levels of music going from one program to another. And this controls how, and I don't know if you can see it, actually, you can see it now. This controls how I can listen to music in OBS and it's and it's on a level, and I I can actually control that, which is which is really good. Uh, I might there may well be another way of doing it, but I know that this music that I've done today has been mastered at minus twenty three LUFS. Uh, so, right, let's 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 see how this goes. So let's get our ears ready. We're going to listen to yesterday's piece again because that's that sounds loud now you can see that that's at minus it's it well it's bouncing around it's minus 14 k minus 14 lufs and it's bouncing around i'm pointing at something you can't see that i'm pointing <laughs> and and it's actually bouncing quite nicely in the yellow which is really good so if we go to today's and this now is exactly the same level but it's mastered at minus 23 so there's a difference here of nine 
Wow. So here we go. Let's have a listen to this. Now that immediately sounds lighter and it actually hasn't got as much pressure and that's really interesting. It doesn't feel as as much pressure and it shouldn't do because actually decibels, it's all about pressure and sound waves. Uh, so actually that gives the music much more space to, to breathe. And I, and I prefer that sound. Now the problem is that if you compare that to this, it immediately sounds quieter. Now, it, when we look at the meter, you can see that it is. And what I've worked out that if I increase the volume or the input level of that, and it's mastered at minus 23, I can increase it and it'll bounce around in the same, in the same. And what I'm really wanting to see is if you can see that difference but once I've moved it up, it'll be the same volume, uh, but it will sound lighter. And I want you to see if you can hear that difference and whether or not you still feel that it's been mastered at the minus 23 LUFS. So here we go. So what I'm going to do is in order to get them to marry up, I did some experimenting and I've brought down the volume to 70%. So if I now whack this up to 100%, it's 100%, but it's on minus... 23 LUFS and see what this sounds like and have a look at the meter as well. Now you see that sounds so much louder, but it's too loud because it went straight into the red. So one of the things that we've got to try and do is be able to jump from one to the other and compare. Now I, I should be able to do that by doing this. And let's see if this works as well. So what we're gonna do is I've got this set up and this is the joys of this, this setup. I've now got uh, the music coming in from my SoundCloud account, which is on the other level, but I've also got this one at this level. So let's have a let's have a listen to this. So this is yesterday's piece, which was K minus 14, but at 70% of the level and you'll be able to see that and then I'll switch around the two and you'll be able to see a comparison straight away.
Now, I think I, I think that that might be the right level. And I think one of the reasons I let it play all the way through is for the second half, we've got all of those very low aleatoric sounds from uh, Thrill. And, and actually, with it being set at minus 23 LAUFS, it gives it space for you to be able to hear that. And it doesn't just sound like a mush <laughs> for that, that sort of musical term again. But it doesn't just sound like a, a, a sort of massive mess in the background. You can actually hear it because I'm panning it around in the 3D space as well. So you should be able to hear it moving around in a in a it should be in a circle but actually i haven't yeah i didn't do that with this version but it should it's almost like a square it's it's a bit of a weird a weird um a weird shape but it should feel like it's moving around if you've got headphones on that would be really good that's that was something as i, I was exploring either last month or the month before because it's it's something that i find really interesting and it's an aspect of the interactive submersive music that i'm really trying to explore delivered via the internet now a lot of this is probably already being used by by games composers and games already already and actually that's something i need to investigate as well and i should i should really investigate uh, but actually i quite like the idea of uh, of in of coming up of presenting myself with problems and trying to solve them and i think we may well have got we may well have got to the bottom of this i'd be really interested to get your comments back and uh and let's see whether or not let's see whether or not i'm right whether or not you think i'm right and then we can see how we can take this forward obviously there is a big problem because up until now everything's been mastered at minus 14. So what do I do? <laughs> do I finish this month all and, and have them all at the same level, in which case I need to go back and change this one? And, and also uh, tomorrow's and Sunday's uh, so that they're all the same level, which will actually make it, that might make sense. So I can start may or i can start june with a completely clean slate and we can all we can start doing it all at minus 23 lufs i think that might be the plan uh, but i now know that actually if i play something at minus at minus 14 lufs i can bring it down to 70 percent of the volume into obs software and actually it's it's it levels it all up and it, it creates the same effect Am I right or am I barking up completely the wrong tree? Let me know. Of course, the most important thing is that it sounds clear and that it sounds that it sounds that it sounds good. And, and really, that's that's the sort of feedback I'm really looking looking for. So let me know and we'll see where this takes us tomorrow. And we're coming up to the end of the month. And actually, it's that time when we're starting when I'm starting to think, what am I going to do? What am I going to do next? And and actually, I think these last few days have been really good going forward. So um, let's see where it takes us tomorrow. Thank you very much for listening and see you soon. Stay safe.